The First Lady Auxilia Mnangagwa was last Wednesday booed by villagers at Watsamba Business Center in Manakalan Province. The villagers, predominantly women, voiced their discontent after reportedly missing out on the charitable offerings being distributed by Umingagwa as part of her philanthropic endeavors. However, instead of addressing their grievances, the response was swift and heavy-handed. Nine women, identified as Nestor Chatawana, Panash Machikanzando, Winnet Siho, Maria Chodo, Esnath Chodo, Ellen Rujua, Faith Chidhakwa, Patience Matasva, and Joyce Mashingaidza found themselves in police custody, accused of disrupting the peace under Section 41B of the Criminal Law Codification and Reform Act. According to the prosecution, the women's actions were deemed disorderly, disrespectful, and aimed at causing a disturbance during Yomingagwa's speech. Their alleged conduct, which included booing the First Lady, was considered an affront to her dignity. Yet, amidst the legal proceedings, the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights CLHR intervened. Lawyers Tatenda Sigok and David Tandiri secured the release of the women on free bail, highlighting potential procedural irregularities in their arrest. The defense presented by Chatawana and her companions refuted the charges, asserting they were unfairly targeted in a sweeping arrest operation. They maintained they had left the venue before Omingavwa concluded her speech and before any dismissal announcement was made. This incident of public dissent against a prominent figure mirrors a similar event in November 2017, when ZANU PFUs heckled former First Lady Grace Mugabe at White City Stadium in Bulawayo. The repercussions of that incident, where youths face prosecution for insulting Mugabe, resonate with the current situation. It's worth noting that the ZANU PFUs, also represented by ZLHR, were eventually acquitted after charges of insulting or undermining the former First Lady were dropped. The echoes of past confrontations between the public and political figures underscore ongoing tensions within Zimbabwe's political landscape, raising questions about freedom of expression and the limits of dissent in the country.